Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Matt, I am the American Canadian Gamer, and today I want to talk about the Frontier's Edge map pack that was released for Titanfall last Thursday. Now this is the second Titanfall map pack to be released, and like the previous one, it is three maps for $10, which I still think is just a little bit of a steep price, but I already despise map packs as a concept for a first person shooter DLC in general, so take that as you will, but I will still say that $10 for three maps is a bit much. Now that being said, I really do like these three maps, and I think this is a much better map pack than the one that came before it. Now the one that came before it was much better at showing off like mechanics of the game and showing you what, you know, cool little things you can do and giving you a nice little playground to experiment with and, you know, they were, they were really good at just kind of showing off the game. These new maps, they're the same thing. But they're also really good competitive maps. Now, I will say Titanfall has pretty much good maps all around. I don't think there's any map in the game that I really despise. There are some I definitely like a lot more than others, but I can't think of a map that I actually don't like playing on. I, I, can't, I can't think of any that I don't actually like, and that's a pretty good thing. It shows that Respawn actually knows how their game flows, and they figured out how to build maps. And you can tell that after building the maps in the base game, after building the maps in the first DLC, they've really figured out how to really build maps properly for this game in this final, well not final DLC, but in this most recent DLC. Because the maps flow very well, there's plenty of verticality, there's plenty of room for titans, there is just a lot of really great things in all of these maps. And I really think these are the best three maps that Titanfall has seen since its release. So let's go ahead and go into each individual map, and we'll start off with the one I want to talk about first, which is Dig Site. Dig Site, I think, is probably the biggest of the three maps, or at least it feels like the biggest. I'm pretty sure it is the largest. If it's not, it definitely feels like it, and this is the one where snipers are going to have the most fun, because there's plenty of long sight lines, there's plenty of high up camping areas where you can sit up with a DMR or a Kraber, and you can just pick people off left, right, and center. Now, there are quite a few close quarters areas scattered throughout the map, you know, inside buildings on certain walkways, but the the majority of the time on dig site you're going to be fighting at medium to long range utilizing weapons like the assault rifle the g2a4 and the dmr now i will say that titans can really dominate this map now all three of the maps in this map pack do really showcase the balance between titans and pilots very well and all three maps are really good for both pilots and titans but this map in particular Titans can gain real advantages because there are so many long sight lines that Titans can see pilots coming long before they're actually a threat. And it really just changes up how you approach combat when you're going up against a Titan as a pilot. You can't just kind of rush them with satchel charges and hope to rodeo them like you have in the past. No, you really need to worry about using art grenades to kind of blur their vision so they don't really know where you are. Use your camouflage to hide from them. And also, you need to use the more long-range anti-Titan weapons like the archer rocket launcher or stand really far back with the mag launcher you can't really expect to get really close to them really easily and you have to rely on your own team's titans to kind of play distraction so that you can really get in and rodeo them much easier and really help out in that perspective you can't really take down a titan by yourself assuming you're going up against a player who has an inkling of what he's doing if you go up against somebody really bad yeah you're probably going to be able to take down his titan but most people you're going to have trouble taking down their titan because they're going to stay in areas where they retain the advantage because pilots in a lot of areas especially in one of the in a, in a couple corners of the map the pilots don't have a high area to come off of to get onto the titan but out of the three maps this is the one where titans probably can garner the most advantage but they do have to stay out of the middle of the map so pilots can kind of stay centered in the map and keep the titans from really being truly as effective as possible but they just won't be killing each other other than that, the last thing I would have to say about this map is be careful of the, you know, the big giant digging machine. It will kill you if you walk into it. I tested it. For science. Okay, now let's move on to Haven, which this is a map when you first look at it, you're gonna think, hey, this would be a really good sniper map. There's lots of high areas, there looks like there's some good sight lines, and it looks like a sniper rifle would really work on here. You would be very, very very wrong. This is a very close quarters map, deceptively so, because all of those buildings, there are so many areas to run into, and there are so many close quarters encounters on this map, that this is a submachine gun, assault rifle, shotgun map. Like, this is one of the best maps 
for shotgun, I think, in the game. It's just so, so close quarters. And yeah, there are some long sight lines where you can pick people off on occasion, but the vast majority of your battles are going to be very close range. Now, these really tall buildings, you do get the opportunity to get really high and really get a bird's eye view of the battlefield, but I don't really like to do that because when you're high up on those buildings parkouring across them, you are very vulnerable to titans, especially 40mm cannon titans. They really will pick you off when you're up on those buildings because they will see you moving through unless you have a cloak active and pilots will really just see you and they'll just pick you off really easily they'll see where you land they'll predict where you're going to go so i really try to avoid those really high areas unless i just ejected from a titan and i kind of want to just get off to the off to the side from where people think i'm going to land the majority of the time you're going to be inside buildings or running from one building to another throughout this entire map with a shotgun, submachine gun, or assault rifle. You're not really going to be using semi-automatic weapons. You're going to see a lot of smart lock pistols. You're not going to see a lot of DMRs. And you're going to see a lot of people using grenades and satchel charges on this map. This is a really close quarters map. Can ha Has that point gotten through to you yet? This is a close quarters map. De a deceptively close quarters map. Now, the long sight lines on this map I have actually used as a scouting a uh, way, uh, way to scout the map. I get up and I just kind of peek the long sight lines. I see where titans are. I see where players are. I see where grunts are. And I just decide to which building I'm going to go from that point by just kind of peeking out and looking around. Now you can pick people off on occasion, but really you kind of want to stay in cover because the titans do have a lot of mobility on this map. There are plenty of streets that the titans can move through. They're not as... um big of a threat on here as they are on dig site because you have a lot more verticality over them. You can be in much higher windows than the Titans can really see you, but the Titans can still pick you off because they can be pretty much everywhere, everywhere on the map at any given time because there are plenty of roads for them to go through. And this is a really good last Titan standing map because there's plenty of roads and some cover to duck in between. And when a Titan gets destroyed, the pilots have plenty of areas they can go to try to assist their team to take out the enemy's remaining Titans. This is a really good map that is really well balanced between titans and players i think the most out of all three maps and it's definitely probably also the fastest map this map is big it's not as big as dig site but you just have so many close quarters areas that the maps just you just move fast the matches go quick and this is probably the one where matches will go the fastest that you'll notice now, this map, as a pilot, you definitely want to take advantage of your explosives, your, you know, your grenades, your satchel charges, your arc mines. This is a really good map to really use those effectively, especially burn cards associated with them. And as a titan, you want to take stuff that can help you kill pilots that are in secluded areas, namely the cluster missile. The cluster missile is going to be really good for you, as is electric smoke. I would also probably take either the 40mm cannon or the chain gun because you're going to have pilots up in really high areas running on walls and you're going to want to be able to take them down. This is a very straightforward map, a very close quarters map, and a really, really fun map. This map is just awesome. And lastly, we have Export, which is kind of a halfway point between the other two maps in this map pack. It has more verticality than Dig Site, but not nearly as much as Haven. And there are areas where pilots have the advantage, and there are areas where Titans have a real advantage based on the verticality of the map. And let me explain this. This map sits on the side of a mountain, so it has a natural uphill incline to it. And down at the bottom of the hill, there are tall structures where pilots can sit up very high, and they can see down on the Titans, and they can rain death down on the titans but as you move uphill through the map the structures don't get higher so when you get to the very top you can see all of the rooftops so at the top of the map uphill the titans have a real advantage because they can see the pilots coming they have a really good bird's eye view of the map but at the lower sections there are tall structures where pilots can stand up on top of and really have the advantage over the titans and just use their weapons from up high and this map is all about just kind of trying to control the right areas at the right time. And you'll see a lot of people really rush their titans to the upper section of the map, which is really what you want to do because that's where they gain the most advantage. When you're on the defensive, you kind of want to stay in the more pilot-controlled areas and just wait for your titan to get there. But when you do get your titan, you really want to push for that upper area and try to control it because if you get two titans up on those upper areas... Um, you will really have an advantage, especially if you are fortunate enough to have a Titan that has the particle wall ability, you will really have an advantage because you can just set up one particle wall and two Titans can just, you know, just spam bullets through it and just do a ton of damage. And there was a one point in time where I had a lot of 
I, had, I did a lot of work with a particle wall and a triple threat. I stood at the top, I threw down my particle wall, and I just rained grenades down the street, and they just couldn't do anything about it. It was just death everywhere is really what that was. It was just grenades all over the place. So definitely that's the place you kind of want to hold as the Titan. And as a pilot, you want weapons that can deal with that. So you want the Archer rocket launcher when they're holding the area, but otherwise, you, you know, you want things like... Um, art grenades to blind them. I always like having art grenades, so I'm probably going to say that all the time. Always have art grenades because they're great for blinding titans, but you're really going to want uh, archer rocket launchers are really good on this map because you can stand back on some of the upper areas as a pilot, lock onto a titan and hit them from a distance and really stay safe in that way. You will need communication with your team to take down a couple of titans that are embedded up on the upper area of the map, but really you can also wait until you get your own titan to try to fight for that. But that's the area you're going to see a lot of people fight over. So if you kind of learn how to control and how to combat in that area, then that's really going to be great for you in learning how to control this map. Other than that, this map plays very much like Haven. There's a lot of close quarters areas where you can run around with a shotgun, submachine gun, assault rifle, and you can really tear some people apart. But there are also plenty of really good sight lines for DMRs and the marksman rifles. So it is really a halfway point between the other two maps. But you will not garner as nearly as many kills if you use a DMR or a marksman rifle from a concealed position. You are going to do a lot more work with a submachine gun, shotgun, or assault rifle. That's just, that's just how this map is. But I will say there is one neat little thing that I learned the hard way. There are electrical lines going through the map like a power conduit. And I don't know if it's a generator or what. It looks like a generator of some kind probably. I really didn't take the time to investigate it. But I ejected from my Titan. You're seeing the footage right now. And I landed up on these power lines. I thought, oh, this is pretty cool. I wonder why the game isn't killing me for, you know, being really up high like a lot of games do. And so I started just kind of sniping around really horribly, but I started doing it. And then I died from electrocution, and it showed a guy shooting a power cable that caused a chain reaction that caused me to get electrocuted up on those power cables. So that's a neat little thing. Don't stand on the power cables. You're probably just going to get killed, and if there's somebody camping up there with a rifle, just go shoot those electrical wires, and it will cause an electrical discharge that will kill the person. Other than that, this is a really well-balanced map between pilots and titans. Once again, it's just on each area of the map, the pilot or the titan has the advantage depending on where you are. Now I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that I think these are probably the best three maps in Titanfall. These are excellent, excellent maps. You can definitely tell that Respawn has learned just how to build maps for this game. They've learned exactly how the relationship between Titans and pilots work. They've learned the best ways for pilots to get around a map. They've learned what Titans need for them to get around a map. And it really does showcase the best parts of this game. You get great parkour, you get great Titan play, and it really is just, they're awesome maps. No, there aren't any bad maps in Titanfall in my opinion. But these three stand up above the rest. This is an excellent map pack, and it really gets me excited for what we're going to see from the next one. Because if they made these three this well, I could only think of what they're going to make out of the next three. Because these are excellent, excellent maps, and I really think they're hitting their stride. And it just gets me excited to see what they have in the future. So as always, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. My name is Matt, and I'll see you next time.